This video will explain the settings required for initial operation of the DVM chiller. To configure the chiller a module controller must be installed. A single module controller can control up to 16 DVM chillers. Connect a cable between the F3, F4 on the communication terminal block and the module controller. Next connect the pump and your lock. Here is an example of a pump and your lock. Voltage is required to activate the relay. It cannot be powdered from power on the communication bus. Then connect a cable to provide the signal to enable pump operation. Next connect the cable for the pump and your lock. Let's review how to set the DVM chillers address. All DVM chillers must have different address in a module or group. The DVM chiller address is set by changing hydro option number 11 in the module controller. Here is an example showing how to set the address to 1. Push and hold K2 button for 3 seconds to enter the option setting mode. This is only available when the chiller is not operating. Next, shortly push the K1 button to cycle to the number for the desired option. Option number 11 is for address setting. Then, shortly push the K2 button to display the value for the selected option. Next, push and hold the K2 button to complete and save the new value. Now you will need to set which unit is the module and the main, let's look at how you make these settings. First, enter the service mode through the module controller. Then select a desired number in the main menu, the module is set through main menu 9 and sub menu 1. Move through the menu using the arrow keys on the module controller. All units must be set as a module or group. In this example, there is no group, that's why the group is not set. The display shows the unit 0 is set to module 1. And the unit 1 also is set to module 1. After changing the setting, save the information. After setting the module, the unit must be set as a main unit of the module. This step is mandatory, as a main unit must be set in each module. After entering service mode, navigate to main menu 9, sub menu 2. Confirm that the unit 0 and unit 1 are set to module 1. Then confirm that the unit 0 is set as a main unit of module 1. Once the settings have been made, save the information. Finally, the DVM chiller can provide various functions through its internal contacts. For more detail, please refer to the installation manual.